stylish safety because um, I, I, I realized that many women um, were a little intimidated by martial artists. They were intimidated by the martial arts in and of themselves. And I wanted women to realize that this is something that the same way they wake up in the morning and they really think about what they're going to wear, um, they have to really wake up and think about how they're going to act, how they're going to carry themselves um, from the minute that they, they're actually in their house, but leaving their house up through, you know, driving their car, whatever their destination is, when they get out of their car, um, it, it, it's the same as your everyday putting on your clothes and thinking about what you're going to wear. Um, it's also about thinking about how you're going to act and therefore stylish. And like I said, I incorporated the whole um, very approachable aspect of not just martial arts because the seminar that I teach, Stylish Safety, is much, much more than martial arts. Um, I take certain principles and concepts that I learned um, throughout my martial arts training, but what I did was I created my own form of um, I'll call it self-defense, um, but it's again more than that because a, a large component or a large portion of my program involves um, avoidance. Every one of these items okay, that I have here can be used as long as it's used correctly and in the right, and it, it's actually struck in the right places. So, for example, let's, let's start with the bag itself. This is, this, I would consider, the, this is the, the bag. You can do the, 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 uh, uh, the handbag hurl with this. <laughs> but I like to consider myself more like Xena the Princess Warrior and use this as my shield. Because, for example, if there is someone that's coming up to me and they are going to strike me or they're going to have a knife in their hand and they're going to stab me. Now, again, this is one of those things where you know this is happening. Okay, then you can actually use this as a defense mechanism. The next thing, which is one of my favorites, is the shoe. And I always say that it's amazing how these are not illegal. Because what happens is, as you can see, it has a very nice, lovely, pointy end to it. So what I would suggest is, if you can, um, you know, some people say, well, how am I going to get my shoe off? Well, you don't have to take your shoe off. If you're able to take your shoe off, it has a nice little handle, okay, you put your hand in, and this can be hit in the temple, in the eye, in the ear, in the throat. Um, there are a number of places throughout the entire body that you can use this that are very effective. So let's say you're grabbing me from behind a bear hug, or however you're going to grab me. Yeah. Okay, so you're grabbing me. What I can do is, first of all, I'm going to do the stiletto stop. Oh, okay. All right, I'm going to do the stiletto stop. So as you can see, even though you have boots on, if I really, really jam my foot down really, really hard, that's going to hurt. Here, all qualify for the same thing. Similar to what I did with the brutal brush. This, for example, if, again, if you're able to have it, who, not everyone walks around with hairspray, but if you happen to have a bag and, you know, you're going to somewhere and you need, you never know. You can not only take this out and use it the same way, temple, under the chin, into the throat, you can also potentially spray someone in the face. And I know people laugh, but I have to tell you, um, I don't know about you, but I've had hairspray in my eyes and it hurts. <laughs> so it's not pepper spray, um, and I'm not encouraging anyone to do that. But again, it's, it's, it's having the, the thought there of thinking, well, what could I do? Water bottle, same thing. Um, aside from <laughs> spraying someone in the face literally with water, which could be effective. But you have, again, it's, it's the, the force. It's not just your hand anymore. You have an item that you can actually use to, um, uh, to actually hit someone. And again, spray, perfume, metal, it's very, you know, it's, it's a sturdy uh, surface, and again, it is a spray. Um, keys, I think, are also very important. We have to discuss keys. For some reason, there's, a, there's this myth out there that you're supposed to take keys and, like, put them through your fingers like this or something like that. Have, any, have you seen that? Well, let me tell you something. This is wrong. <laughs> do not do this because, first of all, if you touch the inside of your fingers, you will realize that the skin is very, very delicate. And that will, if you do do that, and you put your fingers in between here, and you do hit an object, or you hit a person, you're going to injure yourself. And you'll probably drop the keys. So what I encourage people to do is, this one happens to have a nice big key. Just grasp it firmly in your hand. And what you're doing is, you're not poking. You can poke, but you're scratching. One of my main goals is to make women think. It's about thinking in advance of how would I react if I was in a situation.